creating sum squared, we're going to simplify some rational expressions and we're also going to multiply and divide some simple ras rational expressions. So when you're simplifying, you just have one fraction and you have to keep in mind that you can only cancel factors. So we start just with, I start with the negative. So what's a negative divided by a positive? It's a negative, so I know my answer is going to be negative. And then I write my fraction line. Now I know that the 28 is bigger than 4, so I'm probably going to have more left down here. A squared is bigger than A, so I'll have the A's up here. B to the 4th is bigger than B cubed, so I'm going to have B's down here. So I kind of just like to think that through so I know when I'm simplifying. So does 4 go into 28? Yes, it does. 7 times. So 28 divided by 4, if you kind of look at it that way, or it cancels, 4 goes into there 7 times. You can think of it that way too. A squared divided by A is A. If you use your exponent rules, you'd know that 2 minus 1, since you're dividing, goes that way. And B cubed over B to the fourth, there's a B left in the bottom. So my answer is negative A over 7B. Now in the next one, to simplify, you'll notice that there's a parenthesis with a squared outside it in the top. You have to take care of that before you start canceling anything. So that's really important. So we're going to square a negative, which is a positive. I'm going to square the 2, which is a 4. C squared and D cubed squared. Remember that rule is the rules to multiply the exponents. And you can put the ones for um, exponents that aren't visible if that helps you. Some people have learned it that way. And then we're just going to rewrite the bottom because there is nothing to simplify there. Fraction line, 8 and 4 reduce. 4 goes into 8 twice. Since 8 was in the bottom, the 2's in the bottom. It's a common mistake people make. They always want to put the number in the top. The c squareds are the same. Anything divided by itself is a 1. And since I already have a 2 there, I really don't need to put a 1 there. Some people do. You can put a 1 in the numerator if you'd like to. Um, if there's nothing left in the numerator, you definitely need the 1. d to the 6 divided by d to the 5th. 6 minus 5 is 1, so I just get d to the first power. And again, you don't need that d to the first power. So that simplified is just d over 2. That's another way. You could, you could just say d over 2 or you could say 1d over 2. Either way is fine. Okay, now we're going to get into multiply, multiplying and dividing. And remember that they're just about the same. When you divide, you flip the fraction to the right of the division sign, and then you can cancel factors. So notice that all these um, expressions just have monomials in the top, the numerator and the denominator. There's no binomial, so there's not really any factoring that we need to do. We just need to cancel common factors. So when I multiply, I like to look at negatives. There's two negatives. So that's going to make a positive. And then I look at each term. I say, well, 2 goes into 4 2 times. 3 goes into 9 3 times. So I know that in the top of my fraction, I'm going to have a 2. And in the bottom, I'm going to have a 3. And then I look at the variables. And I have an x cubed divided by an x. I can cancel because 3 minus 1 is 2. So x squared. So my answer is 2x squared over 3. Then over here I'm going to flip this first. So I get 15x cubed over 14 times the reciprocal of 18x over 7, which is 7 over 18x. And then I cancel common factors. Anything in the numerator can cancel with anything in the denominator. So 7 goes into 14 two times. Notice 15 doesn't go in 18, but they have a common factor of 3. So 3 goes into there 5 times, and 3 goes into there 6 times. So now my number parts are set. 5 is the only number left in the top, and 2 and 6 are left in the bottom. Since it's multiplying, 2 times 6 is 12. And then my x is x and x cubed, and x cubed divided by x is x squared, 3 minus 1, if you use your exponent rules. So that's my final answer for that one. And over here, there's three things, three fractions multiplied together, but it's only the one to the right of the division sign that I have to flip. So let's take care of that first. I get x, y squared over 2 times x squared over 2y times 2 over x squared y. So these two I can cancel, and then this one's going to be left. I'm going to have a 2 left there. So then I look at the x's. x squareds are going to cancel. So there's 1x left in the top. 
and I have a y times y in the bottom, which is a y squared. So those two y's cancel with that y squared. And so this is my answer, x over 2. And this is m squared, sign it out.